You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. Here's a look at your top stories. Israel and Hamas have agreed to the extended ceasefire another two days. The two sides released hostages and prisoners and allowed some humanitarian aid to enter Gaza. Israel, mil, Israel's military, meantime, says Hamas released 11 more hostages today. And as part of the deal, Israel has released more than 100 Palestinian women and teenagers detained in jails before the war started. The White House says it welcomes the two-day extension in which Hamas has agreed to release another 20 women and children. A Santa Ana man has been charged in a stabbing investigation at an Amazon warehouse last week. Andrew Alfaro is accused of attacking an Amazon employee in Mission Viejo, leaving her with serious injuries. Today, the 29-year-old suspect was charged with attempted murder. The victim, 46-year-old Siong Park, was taken to the hospital in critical condition. It is unclear what prompted the attack or if the two actually knew each other. Many Southern California cities have taken action against single-use plastics. Well, now the city of Irvine may take it one step further. KCAL News reporter Michelle Geely has a preview. I'm Michelle Julie in a shopping center next to UC Irvine and today what we're working on is a story about a potential single use plastic ban here in the city of Irvine. This will be voted on by the city council on Tuesday. Now the council member who is proposing this happens to be a climate scientist at UCI. Um, she's also a council member and um, this is pretty complicated but in essence, what we're talking about here are, say, the smaller water bottles that many of us drink out of. Something like that would be banned. And what the city wants people to do, if in fact it's passed tomorrow, would be to use the reusable water bottles. Uh, restaurants, they would, instead of sending you out the door with a plastic container with your food, it would be something that is compostable, say, a carton. Um, there's also concern about waste created from balloons, both uh, latex and mylar. So there would be a ban on that kind of waste. Uh, Kathleen Traceder, who is the council person and UCI professor, says that she's very concerned about the waste that flows from Irvine into the ocean, and she wants to cut down on much of this, uh, these single-use plastics. So again, we're talking to people today, and there also is uh, obviously going to be a, a concern on the part of uh, business people. What might this cost to obtain these compostable, not uh, compostable materials? So we're going to be um, speaking to all sides and we'll bring that to you on KCAL News. And this afternoon, LA Mayor Karen Bass expected to lay out how the city is working to address climate change. Bass will be joined by federal and regional leaders. Bass also will discuss how the city has secured funds that will help address severe heat in the San Fernando Valley and across the city by paying for new bus shelters and other city services. All right, turning now to the weather, we are tracking gusty and chilly conditions out there. KCAL News meteorologist Olga Ospina has your next weather forecast. Olga. Uh, hi, Juan. Yes, uh, still some Santa Ana winds sticking around with us. The good news is uh, they're going to continue to weaken as we head into later tonight. But it's really those usual spots that we saw over the weekend out through LA and Ventura. The I-5 corridor still seeing some impacts out there. Santa Clarita Valley also seeing some of those uh, stronger gusts. As we head into the next few hours, again, parts of LA and Ventura still seeing gusts in that 20, 30 mile per hour range. By later tonight, uh, those winds are really diminishing and we will wake up to some pretty calm conditions on Tuesday. But numbers have warmed up nicely thanks to that offshore flow. We are in the 70s across a lot of areas, 72 in Van Nuys. Still chilly out through some of those wind sheltered areas at Palmdale, Lancaster in the upper 50s. We're looking at plenty of 70s out through downtown Los Angeles and low 70s in Beverly Hills. As we head into the Inland Empire, we are seeing or actually Orange County 70s uh, low 70s in Santa Ana into Tustin and uh, for the Inland Empire. Now we're feeling some upper 60s and low 70s there. Chilly in the mountains and those overnight lows I'll show you in just a moment. They're going to be very cold in the overnight hours currently in the upper 30s and low 40s. But here's a look at some of the big changes. So again, those winds uh, they are diminishing much calmer tomorrow. And then we have some changes because there is a system here moving in that has the potential to bring us some rain as we head into the middle of the week. So by Wednesday, Thursday,
Thursday and Friday. Keep in mind, we could experience some showers across our region and then those cooler temperatures still sticking around for the weekend. Tomorrow, though, still a pretty nice one, at least for November standards. Plenty of 70s expected for daytime highs all the way from uh, places like Camarillo into Malibu at 71. We have 73 in downtown Los Angeles, 74 in Fullerton, so slightly above average temperatures. And then those changes, uh, that's going to be the last day of warm conditions on Tuesday. Rain possibilities on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And look at those temperatures dropping a good 10 degrees and still continuing cool as we head into the weekend. For mountain areas, uh, also not ruling out the chance of getting some snow showers, especially by Thursday into Friday. Overnight lows as we head into Thursday, Friday in the low 20s and in the teens. Juan. Olga, thanks. Black Friday and Cyber Monday are the most popular shopping days, but tomorrow is also important. It's Giving Tuesday. So today, California Attorney General Rob Bonta gave tips to make sure your charitable donations go to legit causes. Check the registration status. Charities are required to register with the California DOJ and file annual financial reports. You can use our registry search tool at oag.ca.gov. Watch out for deceptive tactics. Make sure you're donating to the organization intended. Some organizations use names deliberately and intentionally that resemble those of well-established charities to mislead donors. Bonta gave the alert outside the downtown Women's Center in Skid Row, which works to help those experiencing homelessness. And afterwards, Bonta and his team helped assemble meals for the center. This has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez. We'll be back here live at 4 right here on CBS News Los Angeles.